Good morning, everyone. I recently had a request on an old video of mine uh, where I played Drunken Hiccups to play a, a slowdown version of it. Um, there was a, a commenter that, that wanted to learn a bit more about the bowing. Um, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I played differently from back then. Um, I wouldn't say it's more any that it, it's Tommy Gerald's version anymore. It's it's I've kind of put my old flair to it, um, and I can't guarantee that I'm going to do the bowing exactly as I do back then. So just so that you have a comparison, I'm going to play the uh, Drunken Hiccup once in, in normal tempo, and then I'm going to try to go through uh, uh, the bowing a bit and uh, and the different patterns that I try to use. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. Here we go. So there we go. Um, there are more or less three patterns that I use, three bowing patterns, um, and then of course the, the basic waltz rhythm. So the, let's start with the with the waltz, waltz rhythm. And they're in tuning. As well. And um, then you have the. Figure eight, I guess it's called, and then you have the sewing, and and those three are the together with the normal bowing is is what I I, I currently use. So I'll, I'm going to to play it play it through, and then we'll we'll see where we get. Because the problem with bowing is the more you think about it, the the worse worse it gets. You you need to <laughs> to kind of just go with the flow and, and trying to explain it slowly. It's I'm I'm, um, I'm 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 practicing that still. So. There's another pattern. And in, in really emphasized waltz rhythm. And so on. And here you have the typical waltz um, chord thingy. Rhythm. And there I really like to go up so that I can come down with um, and, and really land into the tone. Try to do some figure eights there, but it's, it's easy to get lost. And then the D 
part is the easiest one. We would just have. Or whatever. And the important thing to remember with this one, especially with this tune in the A, E, A, C sharp, um, is that you can't really do anything wrong. I mean, whatever you play, it's going to sound okay, <laughs> right? So even with the dissonances, it's going to sound authentic, I guess. So that's it. Um, please let me know if this was helpful. Um, and uh, if you want me to take a, take a closer look at any of the, the bowing patterns and, and explain them more in detail with other tunes as well, just let me know. Happy to do it. And uh, have a great day, everyone.